some signs that they don't actually genuinely love or care for you. When it comes to dealing with narcissistic people, they are incredibly exploitative people and they will use many deceptive methods to influence you into believing that they love and care about you while they leave you second guessing yourself, questioning yourself, blaming yourself and wondering what on earth has happened to the person you once met questioning whether they do actually care or love you. When it comes to dealing with narcissistic people they use many different covert manipulation methods to hide what they're doing to you so that they can extract the maximum from you. So what are some signs that they don't genuinely love you? They don't plan future with you. They don't plan future events with you. They don't include you. What's confusing about this is in the beginning, they're going to over include you in absolutely everything they do. They are going to plan the best ever future with you based on your hopes and your dreams and the things that you would like out of life. And not only are they going to create that future with you. They're going to claim that they want those very same things as you. So you feel like you're letting them down if you step away from them. So in the beginning, they're going to sell you absolutely everything you ever wanted out of life. And they're going to do it in a way where they seemingly want those things too. Then once they've got you where they want you, they're going to fail to deliver on these things. Yet they're going to rationalise and justify these things away, such as next year when we've earned a bit more money, next month. Well, perhaps we need to do this first. Oh, I didn't think you wanted to rush things that quickly, even though they've usually moved in before you've even really gotten to know them. Narcissistic people will plan things with you when they are idolising you, when they want something from you when they are hoovering you back into their games. Suddenly, they'll want the things that you wanted again, when they need to suck you back in. But when they've got you where they want you, they fail to plan a future with you. And whenever the future hits, they find a way to sabotage things happening or they find a way to rationalise why things haven't taken place that they once promised to you. They fail to act on their promises. Narcissistic people are very good with words, not so good with actions. So they will promise to do things with you. They will promise to do things for you. They will promise to take you places. They will promise to change their behaviour. They will promise so many things and they will let you down at almost each and every turn because they lack the empathy to care. Narcissistic people promise you things in the present moment so that they can get their needs met. Or once their needs have been met, they're no longer interested in delivering that promise to you. They are more than happy to leave you out of situations, leave you out of the loom yet claim that, oh, next time they'll let you know, next time they'll invite you, yeah, next time they don't let you know, the next time they don't invite you. Their actions don't match the words. They can talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. That saying that actions speak louder than words, and they do. A narcissistic person will tell you that you'll do something in future. They will promise you something. They will tell you that they love you, yet rarely to never will they deliver on those promises. Will they do those little things that show that they love you? However, what's very confusing about this is a narcissist will do something for you, something you might not have even asked them to do, which makes you believe that they love and care about you because they've done something for you, seemingly out of the goodness of their heart. However, they use this as currency against you in the future. I let you do. I did this for you. 
They don't do things for you because they care about you or because they love you. They do things for you to use those things they did for you against you to make you feel bad, to make you feel guilty, to make you feel ashamed, to guilt trip you into doing something for them that you perhaps might not want to do. They don't respect who you are as a person. They feel entitled to get their own way. So their actions rarely to never match their words. They have that charismatic charm. They can have that joking manner. So they are very good at talking the talk. However, as they lack empathy, they're not so good at walking the walk. The relationship's full of negativity. You're always getting blamed and shamed when things go wrong. You're always being put down. You're always being invalidated. You're always being told that you're not good enough or that you're stupid or that you can't do something or see, that's why I didn't invite you. That's why I didn't tell you. You're always getting the blame pinned on you for everything that goes wrong. There can be some of the most horrific atmospheres in the house before special occasions or when you want to do something you'd like to do or when you're looking to better your life in some way. They put roadblocks in the way. They sabotage you at each and every turn. They make you late for job interviews and they will go as far as hiding your car keys and then helping you look for them and then expecting eternal gratitude when they find them for you because they hid them from you. You end up walking on eggshells around them for fear of reactions from them. You feel like you can't open up and communicate your thoughts and feelings with them because they will invalidate them, they'll belittle them, they'll tell you that you're too insecure, that you're too sensitive, that you don't know anything, that you never take their side, you, you don't communicate with them. When walking on eggshells with them, what works one day doesn't work the next. You're not sure who you can be around them for fear of setting them off. They can sulk at you for days, yet they will rationalise this and blame the circumstances of their lives. So you feel sympathetic sorrow for them and try to give them the space and try to help them out because you're all in there. You care. You love them. You want what's best for them. You want to see them become happier. You want to help them out. Not recognising that they are neglecting you. They are sabotaging the relationship. Yet they're going to rationalise and justify on how they've had such a terrible day. They're going to demand space. And as people can need space and you understand and care for them, you can give them that space, not recognising they're using that space to gain a new source of supply because they don't feel like they're getting the attention they want from you because you've become very negative due to the toxic environment you're living in. You might become anxious, you might become insecure and you are going to become very anxious when you don't know the situation you are living in, you don't know what mood they're going to be in, you're going to become insecure when someone who claims to love and care about you is forever putting you down, yet claiming it's for your own good. It's only because they care. It's a very, very confusing place to be. But someone who cares about you would not want to see you suffer. They'd want to see you succeed. They would rather impress a stranger than take care of their own family. When it comes to narcissistic people, public displays of affection can vary. In the beginning, especially if they're trying to rub salt into the wounds of an ex, they can go overboard on public displays of affection that might make you feel a bit like, oh, this is a little bit too much. However, once they've got you where they want you and they feel like they can't impress you anymore in the way they used to, suddenly they'll no longer be giving you those displays of affection and they'll be giving them to somebody else while blaming you for not paying them enough attention. Narcissistic people would rather impress a stranger than take care of their own family because they're not getting their needs met by their family. They're not able to exploit their family quite so easily. They're not able to get away with their behaviour with their family quite so easily. A stranger is a blank canvas. 
that can be easily influenced into the narcissist's charismatic charm. They haven't been let down by the narcissist. So they haven't got that judgment of the narcissist. They haven't got that, oh yeah, you told me last week you'd do that and you didn't bother because they've not experienced that yet. And in the beginning, a narcissist will tell a stranger they'll do something and they'll follow through with it to influence the stranger into trusting and believing the narcissist over the narcissist family who's trying to explain who the narcissist is truly like. Walking ahead of you. There's many reasons why people might walk ahead and that doesn't alone make someone a narcissistic person. However, somebody who loves and cares for you is willing to wait for you, is willing to walk alongside you, is willing to help you along, help you up. So not just walking in front, metaphorically walking in front of you. They're always staying one step ahead of you in the games. They believe that they are superior. So if they want something, they're going to go right ahead and do all they can to try and get it. If they want to go somewhere, they're going to be ready in a flash and off. However, if you want to do something that they promised they'd do, but they're not that interested in doing, they're going to drag their heels. They're going to laze about in bed. They're going to create an argument just before you step out the door. And then they're going to be, I don't want to go with you in this mood. And they're going to go and sulk and leave you feeling negative, going to do that thing that they promised to do with you, that you promised, you made a promise together to do together. And they're going to find a way to get out of it at all costs to your emotional health. You're the one that's going to be left feeling frustrated and anxious and depressed and unhappy. And when somebody can bring those emotions without you, within you, out of you, they're not the kind of person that cares and loves for you. They can seemingly show they care for you and they love you when they want something from you, when things are going well for them. They can suddenly be there for you. Yet they will be constantly telling you, look what I've done for you. Oh, aren't I nice doing this for you? Because they're expect expect expecting that praise and that gratitude from you. However, when things aren't going well is when they're no longer going to show that they care because they lack the object consistency to do so. Object consistency is usually developed around the age of two and three, meaning when there is conflict, disagreements, distance between two people who genuinely are connected, mind, emotionally, physically, who are genuinely connected, when there is a disagreement, they can still care about each other enough to not say too much or do too much to potentially hurt the other person. We're all able to get to a point where we might say too much, however, we would feel remorseful and then try to make it up to that person. With a narcissistic person, as soon as you don't agree with them, as soon as there's a disagreement, they no longer care about you, which is why they can become some of the most spiteful, hurtful people you could ever meet. And they're going to tear you down just because you didn't agree with them. As soon as there is distance to a narcissist out of sight, out of mind, and they'll be looking for another source of supply. They're not looking to work with you, to help each other out, to make each other feel better, to help each other grow, to help each other develop, to help each other to achieve. Narcissistic people are incredibly insecure people and they hide this with their superiority and their controlling behaviour. They seek to tear you down so that they can feel better within themselves, so that they can feel superior, to hide from their own fragile ego and they lack the empathy to care for how their exploitative, manipulative behaviour, how their lies, how their future faking, how their false promises affects you. They only care about the image they're portraying to you or to those around you, which is why narcissistic people can potentially go overboard with the public displays of affection with you or when they're looking to smear your name, when they're looking to discredit your character, 
when you're out with friends and family, they might then seek to humiliate you, taunt you, bait you, get you to react to them so that they can play the victim with your friends and family and their friends and family and say, see, look what I have to put up with. Because they don't care about you. They don't love you. They don't respect you. They're not interested in helping you. They're interested in making you look bad so that they can look good. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.